Uh, so I'm gonna do my best to make in uh, a commentated um, marathon submission video for the Binding of Isaac Rebirth with Afterbirth DLC and the category is going to be uh, just beat the chest and it's going to be using the character Isaac on normal mode. This is probably the most common um, without mods uh, like racing and any percent category that people like to do. Uh, it's pretty confident that you'll be able to finish the run because you'll be using Isaac. And you'll see why when I talk about it in a second. So, uh, I'll just start the timer when I hit normal here. And I will keep resetting until I get an, a good item. There's item rooms here, and I have the spacebar item, but I'm using a controller. And my spacebar item is called a D6. And it lets me roll any item that's on a pedestal. Now this game is completely random. So every item that you get, all the floor layouts, they're all bad. Uh, and by bad I mean you'll, you'll have no idea where you're going. And that's bad for a speedrun. And so there's too many elements in this game to talk about in the short amount of time that is for the submission. But you can do the best to carry along. It's been in a few... Uh, games done quick events before. And so I will keep restarting until I get an item that I want to have. Like there, Judas's Shadow. So, oh, that's a perfect start right here. So Judas's Shadow will give me more damage. And... So will Pentagram. But Judas's Shadow only activates once I die. So I'm going to go on this room on the outside, which will spawn me on the inside. Pick up the Soul Heart. And now I have a good amount of health and a lot of damage to start off this game. And even though I am resetting, I started the timer before I did all those resets. And this is basement one, so this is where everything starts out. It's actually cellar one technically, but basement one is like typically the name of the first floor that you're on. There's ten floors uh, that I have to complete, and Blue Baby is the character that I have to beat when I'm inside the chest, which is the final floor of this playthrough. Uh, so, this category has never been in a Games Done Quick event, and I'll just get this soul heart here. I don't want to walk over the spikes. So, Rebirth with Isaac has never been in, in a Games Done Quick event, and Afterbirth, the DLC, has so much more to offer with it. And I'd really like to be able to show this off. This game is a huge, huge speedrunning community. Alright. And it would be really enjoyable. It's such a quick game, too. So, here on the second floor, you can see my items on the left. I can talk about those. That's money, bombs, and keys. Uh, I need keys to open up item rooms and shops from here on out. So, that shop right there, I can go in there, but I'll need a key, and I don't have a key. I've got bombs, so I can blow up rocks like I did on the last floor. And I haven't taken any red heart damage on this floor. You can't really see my health bar, but I haven't taken any damage at all, actually. But if I still had only red hearts and no soul hearts, which are the blue ones, or black hearts, which are the black hearts, I would be able to get past uh, this boss and have a devil deal afterwards, like so. And devil deals have random items like this. It's pretty cool. I got two pedestal items that suck, so I can re-roll them and get good ones. Like those. Those are nice. So later on... Oh, I should have gotten those keys. Uh, later on, when I get rid of my red heart, the Spirit of the Night that I just got, which gives me flying and special tears, when I get rid of that red heart later on, I'm not going to have any more hearts. And the other item that I got was Guppy's Collar, which is one piece of a Guppy transformation. But also that means when I die, I'll have a 50% chance to respawn. Um, and here's the kicker with this game. If you die at all, you that's it. There's no more game. You have to restart from the very beginning. So that's why it takes a really good knowledge of the items. Um, 
how, where to go, how to go fast, and all that. So, in the beginning of the game when I was restarting, what number one thing I was looking for was damage. And that'll let me carry myself through the first couple of floors really easily until I get to the Devil Deal. And now that I've got the damage, and I've got a decent amount for now, I'm definitely going to want some more later. I'm looking for tier rate, I'm looking for speed. That's all good for my character's build, but another thing that'll let me go fast is mapping. And I can find maps and compasses in the shops pretty easily, but there's also a lot of other forms of mapping. There's no map in here, so I'm just going to pick up the soul heart just to keep going. That was what a shop looked like. Got that money back. That was good luck. Fire and poop and a lot of other stuff can just drop money. So can pots. This fly that I got earlier, I'm orbiting it around. That, that wire coat hanger is giving me a tier up increase. So now my fire rate is going up. And so now I'm just going through the floors here. I am on Necro 2. No, Caves 2, excuse me. Which means I'm on the fourth floor. And once I hit the seventh floor, which is the womb, that is when I can... I'm going to roll this. No, it wasn't worth it. I'll get this, though. It gives everybody a health bar, and it would be nice for you guys to see what's going on, I guess. But anyway... I'm trying to build up a pretty good build before I get to the chest or anything like that. I can beat all these floors pretty easily, but it's nice to check out all these floors to prepare myself for the chest. I can bomb through these wooden doors that are going in between rooms if the room is too slow. And you'll probably be seeing me do, doing that later on. But... I can't do that on the chest, so I want to have a pretty good build for going through that floor. Really great ways of getting through the chest are things like an Emperor card. So you can get tarot cards and it'll bring you to the chest. There's a lot of things. And the best way to explain an Isaac speedrun is to explain what you get as it's happening. I can't explain everything that's in this game in one sit-down commentary. I can try and I can explain the basics, but I'll explain just what I get as I get it. So all my items so far I've explained. This spider guy just lets me know... how much health enemies have and they also he's, he does like some stun to them sometimes as well ooh very nice we get this and then I'm gonna get this then I'm gonna use this then I'm gonna use this perfect so that's two guppy items and a really nice build okay so what I got there and I've got this item tracker on the bottom of the screen. You won't, guys won't be able to see that if I'm ever in a marathon setting, uh, unless they support that, but I really doubt they will. So, uh, the mark, which is those that red thing with three nines, that's a damage up and a speed up, and it also gives me a soul heart. The pact, which is that piece of paper with blood on it, that gives me more tier eight, more damage, and two soul hearts. That book that I picked up on the outside of the room, gave me one black heart when I used it. And then after I used it, I put it back down. And then I used the, uh, used the D6 on the book to change the book to a different item, and I got a thing called Guppy's Paw, so that's two Guppy items so far. Health up, that's not bad. I didn't want to buy that, but I'm, I don't care. There's nothing else in the shop that I would have wanted. Uh, I could roll the shop, but I don't really have too much money. Yeah. It's fine. I just have a battery out here so I can recharge my spacebar item whenever I want. And what also happened was I transformed into, uh... I guess... Just this transformation. I think it's called Cthulhu? Um... But anyway... 
That was because I got a certain amount of items. I'm gonna blow that up because that rock is tinted so it's a different color. It has a little mark on it, I mean. So you'll know that it has a uh, soul heart or another rock or some keys in it. So it's just extra items. Just knowing stuff about this game is the best way and being able to dodge stuff is very helpful as well. So this transformation came from me getting the pentagram, the mark, and I believe Pact. Leviathan is the name of the transformation. I'm streaming this and chat helped me out there. So this is actually really safe right now. I've got a lot of health, I've got a lot of damage, and I've got this tarot card down here, so the chest is gonna go by really easily. Please ex excuse my lab's air conditioners. But uh, just trucking my way through. It doesn't really matter if I go the wrong way too much. Um, I think I'm gonna have the estimate for this be 22 minutes. That seems to be extremely fair for Isaac as a character. Uh, I'm gonna take this, actually. It's quite the gamble, but it's a really cool item. I'm gonna blow up the shopkeeper because he's a person, and people in this game, when they die, like beggars, shopkeepers, stuff like that, NPCs, I guess, they don't really do much talking, and they're not, they don't really behave like characters too much. But if you kill them, that'll help you with your devil deal chances. So, after the second floor, uh, most floors have this really weird way of determining whether or not you'll get a devil deal or not. And it's based on, like, a lot of stuff. Like, whether or not you've gotten a devil deal already, uh, and, like, done a trade with the devil. And what's so important with devil deals is those, these deals have, like, really strong items, as you can see. That's where I've gotten most of my damage so far. My starting item that I chose, um, Judas's Shadow, that's actually common in devil deals. So it's pretty rare that I saw it in a normal item room, but it can happen with some items. I've got Undefined, so that means I can get one of these items and teleport out of here. That's my new spacebar item. So I'm going to get this, and then use the Undefined to get out of there. And so that increases my damage quite a bit. That marked tears. If I never miss, I'll keep doing more and more damage. So I'm going to keep this world card in my bottom right of your screen. And when I'm on the chest I'll use it so I'll know where to go. It reveals the map, but it would be a waste to use it now. Because of how better, how much better it would be later on. I'm just gonna use this undefined here. Okay, cool. And now I should be a lot closer to the boss. This is why it's good to get, because a teleporting item is sometimes very, very good. See, now I'm right next to the boss. This guy has Skolex. I can't see him yet, and I skipped the cutscene, but I know it's him because it's the only boss that starts off that you can't see in the womb. There's other bosses like Pin, which is the easier version of this guy. But Pin doesn't spawn on this floor. Oh, that's a damage up and a range up from Synth Oil. And that's Abaddon, which gives me a bunch of health and damage and fear shot. And uh, a little bit of speed as well. So this is a really great run. And I don't want to throw you guys off thinking that there's no way that I'm going to get this kind of run at a marathon. This is a good run to have. And the one that I get at a marathon may not be this good. It could easily be better. But the point is that since this game is random, you'll see something different every single time. So for the marathon, you don't you don't know what to expect. I should be using my undefined, but I've actually gone through this floor so much already. So if I get a dead end, I will use the undefined. Okay, we're good. Because the next floor is going to be a little harder than this one. So I want my undefined charged for the next floor. The cathedral. Wow, 
One more devil deal, not worth it. Here we go. So if I did use my undefined and get right to the boss room or the secret room, which was next to the boss room, I wouldn't have enough to use it for this floor. But you can teleport out of rooms. So if I start this room out and if I get locked out, I can just use it here. Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can get a uh, pretty good item from these things. Liberty cap, it's better than nothing. Okay, here's what I'm saying with the bombs here. That room would have taken so much longer if I didn't have a bomb. So would this one. This one probably wouldn't have taken nearly as long, but the point is it would still take a long time. This room won't take that long, so I'll just clear through. But yeah, this room is definitely going to take an extremely long amount of time because that enemy breaks off into smaller enemies and it's just no fun. I may be able to get my last guppy piece out of this box. So I'm going to quickly open it up. Nope. Make sure I keep having bombs so I can bomb through rooms. So this is the second to last floor. If you haven't caught on. I want to make sure that I clear rooms if they're not too hard. So I can charge this uh, undefined spacebar item. The item I'm actually using is called Undefined. That's the name of it. I'm not saying that the item itself is undefined. It has a definition. Okay, so I'm doing a mixture of tears on this guy, which are my bullets, I guess. And this meat cube that's orbiting me that I got from a boss earlier. It protects me from tears and also does a quite a bit of damage, so I'm just circling around him. I'll get triple shot here. It lets me shoot three shots. It's probably not the fanciest looking thing, but it's still cool. Alright. Oh, so these uh, normal chests, since I'm on the chest floor, actually give me items now. And I'll get that, just so I can keep getting items and talking about them. That's infamy, and uh, sometimes tears won't do damage to me. Like, there's, I think it's like a less than 50% chance that when a tear shoots me it won't do damage. Oh, I went the wrong way. I was missing reading the map, I thought it said that. But no worries, this is still a pretty decent run. Or I can still complete it. I'll get that. Ouija board is giving me spectral tears, but I already had spectral tears um, from Spirit of the Night that I got much earlier on in the run. And so here, really quickly playing this game, this normally takes players like months and months of playing well to figure out how to play this well and get these items. That's a good one. That's okay. I'll get that as well. So that 3-1 Death's Touch, that makes... So I have Scythes now. A lot more damage. Harlequin Baby is a follower that's going to shoot out tears and do a little bit of damage every time it contacts them. Scapegoat. Enemies are going to be attracted to Scapegoat instead now. And what else did I get there? I got Scapular. That's a health-related item. For when you're at really low health, it'll give you one heart back if you get hurt when you're at low health, but that's not going to be affected here. Okay. And here's Blue Baby, the final boss. And he's going to go down pretty easily. Um, ever since I went into the womb, I had this item called Polaroid. So that's why I have that defensive shield. And when the chest hits the floor, that's the end of the time. And I can talk while I play because I've played this so much. Um, and it's a really good watch. It's constant fun. There's no breaks. You can skip all the cutscenes. Boss fight items, randomness, like clutch moments. Really awesome builds like that. And uh, I really hope that you guys can accept this. Hop inside the chest and you're good. So it's really not that hard. Like I messed up a few times and I definitely could have gone faster. So 22 minutes is definitely a good estimate. So uh, 
yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys will like the submission. Okay, so 